Hello, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Tim Marcroft. Um, so one of the impediments that's been put in place of this um, policy is a threat, a legal threat, that says that this policy is equivalent to rent control. Um, that to me sounds like up is down and fire is wet. This proposed policy is not rent control and I am not the only one who thinks so. For example, the city of West Hollywood requires that a tenant whose tenancy is terminated through no fault of their own be paid a relocation fee, which is substantially more generous than the one on the table here, by their landlord before notice can be given. This applies to all properties, including those that are not covered by rent control. Relocation assistance is not rent control. The city of Seattle requires that tenants be given relocation assistance if their landlord terminates tenancy, tenancy without a just, just cause. Seattle and the entire state of Washington have a ban on rent control. The entire country of Japan has a ban on rent control. They have a very stable housing market. And also, if, they, if a landlord wishes to terminate a lease early or raise the rent of an existing tenant, they must either have just cause or pay an eviction fee to the evicted tenant. Relocation assistance is not rent control. The proposed relocation assistance policy is common sense and not terribly generous. Los Angeles' relocation assistance policy uh, pays out at the high end over $19,000. It's common sense. It's a response to a dire need. Other cities, big and small, have tried it. And I urge you to vote yes on this much needed protection for renters without amendment. Thank you. Thank you.